Started to fall, and where were you? How could I know you were falling too? Grabbing the wind, cutting my skin, but it's hard because I. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? How's everybody doing tonight? We are here for some Monday Night Mayhem. Uh, st stream starts. We're going to start games at 8 p.m., but we'll go over the deck real quick. I am Antonio. Oh, yeah. 
Pioneer League. That's what we're doing. Forgot what we were doing. It's been a long day for me today. Not Pioneer. Modern. See, told you. Long day. Just finished my exit interview for my bachelor's degree, so... So, got here a little bit late. Got everything set up in about 15 minutes. Hopefully, everything is working properly. So... So anyway, so what we're playing tonight is get back to my my favorite things to do in Magic, and that is rain down some salt upon people. Um, so we're playing a green red Ponza prison deck to a degree. So so what are our, our, our anybody that knows what Ponza is obviously knows what basically what the deck's trying to do we're trying to stone range and pillage people out of the game uh, by denying them their land sources okay so uh, we got blood moons we're going to turn everybody's lands into mountains and I don't feel that that's a uh, a salt worthy thing to do for people personally because I'm giving everybody mountains. I get mountains, you get mountains, everybody gets mountains. So I, I think that's pretty good. We got some uh, early game ramp with our Simeon Spirit Guides. Uh, Stone Rains and Pillages is obviously there to deny our opponent resources, their land, so they can't cast spells. Season Pyromancers to help us refill our hand uh, in the mid to late game. Uh, tireless Tracker it's good, makes clues. We put a lot of lands into play, even though we only have 20 lands with our uh, fetch lands. We get a clue off the fetch land, crack the fetch land, go get a land, get another clue, so on and so forth. Bloodbraid Elf for the Cascade. And I know I'm moving a little bit quick through this, but we're uh, going to get to the gameplay and we'll just see how it does. See if we can make some people salty and uh, go from there. Uh, CH3F underscore Mick3. Yeah, I'm stoked to watch this also. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm the one actually playing it, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Got like 15 things going on. So as we wait for our first uh, salty opponent... So what do you guys think about Pharos? Uh, set comes out in 20 days, roughly. Uh, I really like the, what is that? A, a uh, Prismatic Omen plus, uh, hell, I can't even think of the card relative to it. But hey, it's a green, three mana. We get to put extra lands into play. Seems pretty good. And this hand seems poo poo for what we want to do. Alright, well, we got ramp into tireless tracker. I like that. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Let's put forest, sprawl on forest, mountain, three mana tracker. We're going to put Karn to the bottom. While Karn is big on our game plan, the way this hand is looked to shape out is we're just, ooh, playing Tron. Boy, if we had a, all right, we gonna draw us a stone rain off the top here and just go straight in, well, we put Karn back and we get Karn because the magic gods hate, hate us. But as soon as he sees this Utopia Sprawl, he's gonna be like, oh shit, we got, <laughs> we're about to get our lands blown up. That's what's about to happen, boys. We're going to blow up. Oh, well, or he could just naturally have Tron. Sorcerer's Spyglass. So he's checking to see if we actually have a... Uh... Probably named Karn Great Creator with Spyglass. I mean, that's what I would name. Or you could name Clue, but... I'd like to draw a pillage or a stone rain right here just to stop natural trawling from old sleepless guy apparently our opponent just doesn't sleep 
That's what I'm hoping for. Hoping that we just like blow up his lands and really just make him go on like a four day bender. So, for those of y'all that it's your first time here, thank you for joining. Uh, we do this every Monday. We're changing the schedule to Mondays and Wednesday to, to due to uh, uh, personal things that are going on after work in my real life, which magic is also life, just so you know. <laughs> uh, opponents in the tank about what to name. A Blood Moon here would be great. A Stone Rain would be great. A Pillage would be great. I mean, we have the ability to do any of those three things. Wooded Foothills. Our opponent was in the tank for a solid one minute <laughs> to name Wooded Foothills. But well, we draw Utopia Sprawl. So... Alright, well, we'll go with it. Sprawl here. So this does get us our Karn next turn. And we'll start dropping... Dropping, uh... Lands next turn. Karn. See if we can't... Probably get a pithing needle out of the sideboard can name Karn. We can get a liquid metal coating and start, you know, start to blow up our lands. Like, uh, liquid metal. One, two, three. We need, let's see, three, four, five. Can't do that. So, pithing needle naming Karn is a uh, good next turn. See if he has natural Tron, Tron doing Tron things. I guess he can't. He has two power plants, don't he? Because I'm retarded. Now he has three power plants. What do we got? Dismember on Tireless Tracker? Okay. So we're definitely going to just drop this card next turn. Uh, card. So let's just go ahead and minus. We'll get Pithy Needle. We'll name Karn the Great Creator. Or Karn Liberated. And then one, two, three, four, five. We draw a land. We just micro synth Lattice next turn. Lock him out of the game. But I think the Pithing Needle to name Karn Great Creator is probably the better play here. Oops, we of course, and it is not. It may be Etron. But we're going to still name Karn Great uh, Liberated. So next turn. We can Bone Crusher, shoot them for two. Yeah, it is Etron. You are exactly right. Karn the Great Creator versus Karn the Great Creator. Sure. What am I doing? Getting hit by a 2 2 Spyglass? What are you doing? I can't stop it this turn. I can stop it next turn. So, we cannot get Mycosynth Lattice because of his. I can stop it this turn. So... Season Pyromancer. We'll discard nothing. Get two cards. There's our Pillage. Utopia Sprawl. Go ahead and put Sprawl here. On red. Well, plus Karn. 
We'll hit his corn. So he got three lands. Yeah, I can do it on my turn. That's all that. You gonna do take my pillage? Thought not, seer takes pillage. Well, we got all the rap. We need to pay off. Deal with this car. Just nothing else we cast Bone Crusher next turn. Torpor Orb. Sure. Season Pyromancer Part 2. Yeah, we'll do that. Maybe we hit something good. We do not. Plus. We'll cast this. Now we can deal with the thought knot. He's just slowly getting there, though. Got a warm coil engine coming. Tron doing Tron things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven manas. Pithing Needle. Naming Kong. So let's send you at Karn, you at Karn, no, you at face, you at Karn. See what our opponent wants to do here. Does he want to trade off his Thought Not Seer? Either way, I'm casting this Obstident Bail off next turn, so or this turn. We'll go from there. Excuse me. Alright, so... Make some red elementals. We ain't got nothing else to do. Obsidian Bailoth. Gain about 4 billion life. 4 life, to be fair. And it still protects our car, not that it really matters because he has a pithing needle. Like to get a Chandra here. But I mean, we are swinging 8, 10 damage through next turn. So if he don't have anything. Doo -doo -doo. 5 plus Eldrazi's. Reality. Oh, yeah, we don't gain life because of Torpor War. Duh. Yeah, 
Yes, begin combat. Come at me, bro. Uh, yeah, you can have my coin. And now we exile this guy. Gotta crack this first. And this should present lethal. So this uh get us two elementals. So we are presenting lethal. Meh. Oh, we're going down. We're going after it. Just going after them, boys. Going after them. <laughs> Chef Mickey. Chef Mike. Ah. If I could actually read. Yeah, warping well, create a 1 1. Sure. Oh, we get the draw card. He goes to eight. Blood Braid. So here's the question. We Blood Braid here? Yeah, why not? What's it gonna hurt, right? We may hit like a, I don't know, a bolt. Ooh. Cast Stomp. Cast Stomp off a of Blood Raid. Then cast this guy. Seems good. Too much mana, because I don't know how math works, apparently. I just uh, wrap them. Ever since uh, Game Center closed down, I just wrap them out, and that's really about it. Double Reality Smasher. He can't attack, so if he does, I take 10 and I just kill him on the backswing. Okay. Alright, so we're playing Eldrazi Tron. That's not... Run it back. Life goes on. Maybe bring in a worm coil for Karn. I mean, he's running Karns, we're running Karns, so I don't know if it's really like hyper, uh, hyper important to be able to tutor with Karn. I guess we could just tutor the worm coil. I mean, our, our main deck is pretty much set up to, to play against him, so... If we hit a, hit a Blood Moon or anything along those lines, we would have been fine. So... Yeah, Will, it's not like we get anything like hyper special. It's just I'm doing Mike a favor, good friend of mine. And, uh, he's a friend of mine, and just any exposure I can give him helps out. I mean, I got six people watching the stream. Maybe it'll be 12 tomorrow. Who knows? By it. Or Wednesday. Well. It's a turn two Blood Moon. Either way, whether I keep Spirit Guide or do Spirit Guide or not. We are going to do that. Eldrazi Temple. He may get a Thought Knot Seer down first. 
so. If I had two spirit guides, could turn one blood moon. But I do not. So. Soapy don't have a another temple into Thought Not Seer and takes our blood moon and we get sad. He does not. Torp Orb. This dude loves Torp Orb. He must be like definitely scared of humans or something. Emery, I guess. He's gonna be definitely scared of this blood moon I'm about to lay on him. That's what's about to happen. There you go. Welcome to Blood Moon City. Where all the lands are. Set mine. Mine are still green. We have Blood Moon Tribal going on over here. He is all about these Torpal Orbs. Sure. What are you going to name? Wooded Foothills? Pithing me. It don't matter. I can't crack a wooded foot heels anyway. Name Karn Great Creator. We about to go on the monkey beats plan. That's what's about to happen. We gonna monkey beat them. Season Pyromancer. Okay. Here, elf. Do we just cast another blood moon? What do you think? Will, do we cast another blood moon? Screw it. We're going monkey beats. Play giant. Okay, we'll play giant. We're going on the beats. Can't cast that thought not so you're in your hand though, bro. <clears throat> you can cast that though. Anything he turns into a creature will just shock it and kill Karn, I guess. Or beat down on Karn? Sure. Exile Spirit Guide for Red. Plus this, the Cast Bone Crusher. Then hit Karn for five. All creatures at Karn. Can't let him just naturally get to Mycosynth Lattice. Need the beats. I mean, we got nine power on board. This is just, I'm sending both of these at Karn just in case he has a Warping Well and wants to, uh, I guess he can't even cast a Warping Well. I'm an idiot. But anyway, you get another Blood Moon for your troubles. <laughs> Since I'm an idiot, he gets another Blood Moon. <laughs> Ooh, I 
like that a lot. Blood Parade Elf. Cascade into Lightning Bolt. We'll shoot you for three. And here come the beats. Here come the beats. Attack. Attack for eight. A lot. You go to five. All right, opponent. You need something good here, sleepless guy. We're sending you on a five day bender. Sending Sleepless in Seattle on a five day bender here. Alright, that's the game, boys. Alright, moving on to round two. Match number two. With our green red ponds of prison. Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Need them beats. As we are waiting, <coughs> excuse me, usually I try to mute the uh, mic when that happens, but that one kind of snuck up on me. Yes, we would like to play first. Uh, we don't have any ray up, so turn three pillars, turn three blood moon just seems bad. Mulligan. This has all the ramp and no lands, so we're going to mulligan again. All right, so now we have ramp, lands. All right, we're going to keep. Uh, we can Pyromancer. We can shuffle the deck. All right. Done. So, forest, sprawl, on red. Then next turn we'll fetch with a... Uh, Wooded Foothills. That'll shuffle the deck. And then we can Pyromancer. And... Good luck. Have fun. You too, buddy. Good luck. Have fun. There we go. Once upon a time. All right, what are we playing? They play Once Upon a Time. Oko. Field of the Dead. Okay. This should be in our board. Okay. Oh, it's like a Titan? Titan Shift? No. Amulet Titan. Should be okay against this, to be honest with you. a stomping grounds yeah that's what I ambulance or ambulate Titan that's what I was thinking we got millions of yeah we grab we going hard to the paint bro we going hard to we draw all double corn great creator Okay. Yes, bounce your forest. Okay. 
I guess we got a mountain anyway. Going on the beach. Let's go. I mean, he has a basic forest, so he's not just dead in the water. As he casts once upon a time to get another tribe scout and a forest and another tribe scout. Okay. I'd like to get this uh Karn down. That'll work. Karn. Let's see what to do with Karn. I mean, we can go and grab it like a pithing needle right now. Uh, he can put in, he has five cards in hand. He can put in another land that makes five or four. He has double. We'll probably grab the coating off a of card. And then we can just start taxing his lands. Take. Coding. Yeah. And then uh, we can start taxing his lands next turn. So we'll just send a Pyromancer in for two damage. He ain't gonna block, I don't believe. This leaves this back to protect Karn. And we cast Coding next turn and we can start taxing, attacking his uh, forest. Now, what would be bad is if... So, this is like Amulus, Amulet Titan. <laughs> Amulus Titan. Okay. Alright. So, what do we got against this? Run it back. <laughs> the hell with it. Run it all back. I mean, life goes on. Probably bring in the angers if he gets off to a fast start. That can take out the zombies initially until we can lock down his lands and whatnot. Uh, the bolts seem okay. Ah, eh, screw it. We ain't bringing in nothing. We'll run it back. See if he does more than just... Uh, See if he does more than just play Sakura Tribe Scouts all day. Alright, we got ramp and a billion lands. Yeah. We got mulligan. We don't have ramp, but we have stone rain and tireless tracker and a payoff. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna keep. We can fetch up with Stompy Brown if we need it. We're on the draw, so maybe we just naturally draw into one of our 12 ramp cards. Yeah, you get a Misty. We do not. Probably get a Stomping Grounds off of this uh, once upon a time. What do you get? Rejuvenator. Okay. More lol. Jesus. 
He making sure he gets his. Okay. What is that? YouTube. We're gonna do some deck Asian Avenger style. It's uh, what's his name? Saffron Olive would say. So, we can kill something with this uh, Bone Crusher. <laughs> Excuse me. I've had the flu for like a week now. And it's just kicking my ass. I'm trying to get over it, and now all I got left is a daggum cough that is killing me. Oof. Oof. Dude's on hyper ramp. Go two to the face. Don't care about your little dude. What I'm really hoping is I draw like just a basic slam a tireless tracker and go from there. But we'll see. That's all kinds of manas. Blood moon. Blood moon. That is not a blood moon. Alright. Let's see. If we blow up one, two, three, four, six. He has six mana next turn. But if we take out a... Ugh, so difficult. Maybe I don't want a stone rain. Let's just tireless tracker and we'll take our chances. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take our chances. It's been a very slow second hand. Here's a titan of some sort. Yep. Games with Blood Moon and games without Blood Moon. This one, this game two might be looking over, boys. Might be looking over. No ramp, no blood moons to stop this foolishness from happening. <coughs> exactly. Hey, that tickles. You are correct. A single stone rain does absolutely nothing. We're staring down a 6 6 Titan. So, what we could do is attack. He blocks with the Titan. Then we Simeon Chandra and blow up the. Uh, but then we lose to Chandra, the Elvis Rejuvenator. Uh, not drawing the land there was pretty bad because then we could boost Tracker to four and then shoot it with Bone Crusher. Yeah. And he has all this mana. Alright. 
So he's going to have to tap down four, so he'll have access to one, two, three, four mana. Attack green, green, black, blue. He has access to green. Alright, we'll go to the next game. Game three. Alright. Anything that we should bring in from the sideboard? Anybody got any suggestions? I mean, we can tutor up Bridge with Karn to stop Titan attacks. That's one thing. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing I see. I mean, he plays islands, but one island isn't enough to bring in Choke. I don't really see anything worth uh, bringing in. Yeah, let's just run it back. I mean, he's playing nine million lands. Okay, this is where this is where we want to be. Force Arbor Elf Blood Moon. I'm in. We don't really have a payoff after this Blood Moon. Yeah, that game was over. But we'll draw into a payoff. I mean, that's contingent on the plan that he don't uh, kill our Arbor Elf, but... But we dropping this Blood Moon turn too. What do you get off this once upon a time? Bird Catacomb, sound good? Would you like to crack it? Oh, okay. He would like to crack said Blood Moon. Uh, Boreal Grazer. Sounds good. Our elf lives. Castle Garenbrig is a mountain. Seems good. Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're gonna pillage the forest. If I would've played the right land, we were gonna pillage the forest. But you see... I am bad at magic, and I don't realize that this stomping ground is what I need to pillage this damn forest. So, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to, yeah, I know, hey, that tickles. <laughs> I get it, <laughs> but we can't do that now because I like to click buttons without thinking, apparently. So we are going to Blood Moon and sit here and cry for a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely moon now. <laughs> hey, but we can pillage next turn. You get to once upon a time again. And get another forest. Something you wouldn't have been able to do had I been good at magic. Well, we're getting close to this Inferno Titan. We're pillaging a forest. So, we're at, what, four mana? Explore draws a card. Yeah, it's another mountain. Chooses not to attack. So tireless tracker plus bolt. I mean bolt this trap scout. One to untap you. Three. Tireless tracker. 
We'll just hold up bolt. Uh, if he activate the tribe scout, we'll shoot it. Actually, let's force him to have it. Let's do that. Screw it all. Okay. Alright, so we need lands. Two lands to be exact would be nice. Rejuvenator. Find him. Another forest, possibly. If we had to pillage that forest earlier, it'd been so much better. All right. See, we draw off of here. Nah, we're playing this tire. We're doing our thing now. See, we got there. Hey, that tickles. Thanks for the follow, bro. We're doing our thing here. We're gonna attack. Definitely attacking. And then we can play this uh, Utopia Sprawl on the forest. Four cards in hand, can't play anything. Didn't draw a land. Okay. Bayloth. Hmm. Got the double green. Sup, twin? <laughs> What's up, bro? Let's see what we draw. Maybe we draw a land. I mean, we're getting in for beach now. Season Pyromancer. All right, well, we're going to play the Baylaw first. Actually, whatever. We're so bad at this stupid game. We'll gain up 24 life. We've got a strong board ahead of us. Yeah, we're gonna lose mana if we get it. Attack, 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 attack. Let's go. We come down the pipe now. Hey, we win. Wasn't even paying attention. I was texting somebody. Sup, twin? Welcome, welcome. All right, we are two and O oh with our Ponza prison. Looks like the blood moon worked. Okay. <laughs> as bad as I I played that match, it looked like the blood moon worked. <laughs> oh man, we'll never we'll never get to a five O. But hey, just to be fair, Monday Night Mayhem, what that is, by the way, for anybody that is new and hasn't been here the past couple of weeks, I randomly find a deck. I, you know, usually it's on my lunch break. I see something I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. We're going to play that tonight on Monday Night Mayhem. And, <coughs> and it's basically a deck I've never played. Like, I've played Ponza before, in all fairness. But, uh, yeah, we're keeping this. Um, but it's just basically a deck I never played and we try to figure it out from there. Okay, this Blood Moon looks really bad now. Hmm. 
whale. So this, this, forest, sprawl. Uh, I think I'm gonna name green. If we blood moon, we'll have all the red mana we want. We got three lands. But I think we're just gonna tireless tracker next turn. Or actually, we'll probably wait a turn to tireless tracker. And we're gonna name red. Uh, maybe use this other windswept teeth to fetch another green source. And then we can tireless tracker and then response to him trying to kill our tracker. Runaway Steam Kid. Well, that is getting bolted into the ground. We are not letting you do these things. Not today, Satan. Not today. We have multiple bolts. So here... I don't know if we really want to take a bunch of damage here. So let's just get a regular mountain. And we'll go ahead and bolt this stupid thing. So we drew both of our bolts already. So whatever his next play is, we can bolt it if it's three mana or less. Or three CMC toughness. Light up the stage. Okay. Oop, this. Soul Scar Mage, Mountain. So he plays Mountain Soul Scar Mage next turn. This turn we are going to... Tireless Tracker, Windswept Teeth. Always yield, get a clue, and now we can not crack our Windswept Teeth. Yeah, we can. We can get a Stomping Grounds off Windswept Teeth, bolt his Skull Sard if we have to, or we can just pitch the Simeon Spirit Guide. that's probably what we're going to end up doing or we can crack this get another clue yeah we got a lot of things we can do i don't know what the hell i'm talking about it's what happens when you're on medication trying to get over a flu and try. yeah you get to play your soul scar you get to play another soul scar well then be that way Okay, so blue-red prowess. Seems good. Uh, he has two mana up, three cards in hand. See if he wants to kill our tracker. Does not. So now I kind of want to take him off this blue with the Blood Moon. And then we can play the Stopping Grounds. Opponents in the tank over letting us get a clue. I, which is fair. I gotta be fair. Okay. So if we go one, two, three. Blood Moon. We'll take him off his blue mana. Okay, he's just going to draw a card. Sounds good. Then we'll play Stomping Grounds. Then we'll say, okay, combat. Yeah, all that is is a cycle in. You are correct. Yes, shit to Lucia. Bolt the mage. We are bolting the mage. We're going crack. Okay. Yeah, the blue isn't for anything. I'm thinking about these things after the fact. He's just using it to draw. Lava spike. This might get painful. Need them obsidian bailoffs to come through. Another lava spike. Uh, 
And the race is on in here. There's Hobson and Bailoff. See? Gotta have faith. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Stay long. Just gotta have faith, bro. Things are gonna work out. Draw a card. Card, that works too. Okay, attack. Yeah, I mean, he has two cards in hand, so we'll see what happens. Uh, he has to have a lot of burn spells. This is gone. Yeah. Make another clue. So do we Karn here? One, two, three, four. What can we get? Side I mean, blowing up his lands does nothing. Getting a worm coil, though. Or an explosives on one takes out his mage. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. We already bolted the mage. Let's just see. Do we leave something back so we can't just bolt us out of the game? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, we can crack a clue here and possibly draw into another Bailoff. And that, like, just secures the game for us. We got three main deck Bailoffs. We can also throw down this Arbor Elf. New HJ. So, Bolt is going here. Okay. I mean, it's going to get, what, minus three, minus three? But we draw a forest. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna let that go. Minus three, minus three. Becomes a three, two. If he wants a block, that's fine. And then. Whoa. Drop this Karn. Just. Well, minus two. Yeah. Yes. Well, minus two. We'll get this Worm Coil. We can cast Worm Coil next turn. So. Okay. So he pretty much he has to kill us this turn. We're gonna drop this arm coil next turn, and we'll see what happens from there. We can also micro synth lattice next turn. Well, no, because then he could just. Well, I guess he could bolt the card. Okay. We got there, boys. Uh, life goes on, and some angers. Go down. Uh, the blood moons. Go down those. Let's bring in. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think we ought to bring in, boys? got this life goes on maybe go down a pillage or uh, lovely. I mean I don't think the land destruction relic yeah relic. relic seems good
Let's see. What do we have? We have poop. Uh. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, it keeps them all fed, little Reveler. Uh, do we chance it? I mean, we got the two mana. Technically, we got three mana with this guy. Do we chance it? We're going to keep. Never didn't have it, right? That's how we're at. That's where we're at. Never didn't have it. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. So I think what we do... <clears throat> Let's see what we draw. Double spirit guide, okay. That helps. Alright, so, this is what I'm thinking, and I may be crazy, probably am crazy, is we can double spirit guy, bone crusher, shoot this thing, stone rain to land, next, uh, next turn, we can do it in response to the prowess trigger, and, you know, if he spends something that's two mana to give this thing prowess, then that's even better because we do it in response to the prowess trigger but then we're like hardcore needing to draw land so that's a uh, what do we do going to draw a card so he draws like a bolt do we just eat the damage uh -oh. Batteries dying. We're gonna eat the damage this turn. Cause if we get Chandra down, we can at least take this stupid thing out. See, and we got another prowess creature. Yeah, we'll eat two damage. All right, we need lands. That is not a land, but we can blood break. Or we can Chandra and create two red and shoot a Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, let's do that. That seems good. Chandra. Create two red manas. Stomp the Soul Scar. Alright what we got I mean he can bolt Chandra and attack it but it saves us life Manamorphos not cool Lightning on Chandra. What does that do? Two damage? Okay. Hey, it's not going to my face. That's all I gotta say. But now we really need lands. I mean, we might be going to the next. Well, we got a bolt. Alright. Well, we'll bolt something. Bolt you. Hey, you guys have run out of, uh... Manamorphos. Gets a couple red manas. <sighs> Monastery Swift Sphere. Looks like this one's slipping away, boys. This one's slip... What in the world? Switch? Oh. So, hey, that tickles. You followed me, like, 
30 minutes ago and Twitch is just now notifying me. Hey, we gotta land. Uh, great. We'll get a forest. We will stone rain a mountain. Actually, that was stupid because I got this guy over here that I should have just cast and he's at least a blocker. Yeah. But hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the revolution. Ah, I've been waiting to say that all day. Yeah, this one looks, uh... Ugh. We're not going down. Pay to no. Yes. Cast his Bam Crusher. Alright. Do your worst, opponent. Do your worst. You got two cards. Bolt, bolt, and I'm dead. A braid. Okay. Deal four. Do you got a bolt? You got a bolt, you win. Lava spike works too. Okay. That was horrible. That was horrible. We are the revolution. Blood Moon, bad. That's still nothing I really want. Alright. Alright, we're on the play. Let's hope for a ramp. Interaction. Oh, well, we got the ramp. Uh, what do you say, boys? Keep? Yes? No? Maybe? Go to hell? Guys, I need input. Help a brother out over here. Like, we have two lands. We got a turn one relic, no other ramp. But if we hit another land, then we have a Bayloth. If we don't hit another land... Okay, we got a mulligan. Let me, let me stop being bad. This is gonna die. But if it lives... If it lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're a late bloomer there. Hey, that tickles. <laughs> you're a late bloomer. <laughs> I needed that like three minutes before I... <laughs> Alright, we're keeping this one. We're just doing it. I don't think pillage... Destroying a land on turn two is that great. Alright. If we get the redraw, let's do it. Hopefully, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna like Soul Scar Mage turn one, and then we're like, boom, gotcha, lightning bolt it. Alright, we got 12 minutes on the clock, so I need to, like, stop texting the 70,000 people sending me text messages. No, my lightning. Alright, well, we expected that, so. No, okay. What just wooded foothills here? We can crack it for a mountain. Soul Scar Mage. 
We are definitely bolting you, pal. Get a basic mountain. Bolt you. That's right. You bolted us, we bolt you. Let's go. I would have preferred that Arbor Elf to be a Utopia Sprawl. Because then we're blood braiding this turn. I like that idea. But maybe we just naturally draw a land next turn. Then we can like tireless track our land. Seems good. Yeah, he only has one land and a 19 land deck. He's going to lava spike me, baby. Oh boy. We might get there. Come on, land. Land, land. Come on, land gods. That is not a land. Alright, well. We're doing this anyway. We're putting down threats. Hey, if it redirects a, a burn spell to this tra tireless tracker. Yeah. Alright, land. Not a land. You know what this is, though? This is you have no lands. <laughs> That's what that is. Here we go. Damn it, he drew a land. <laughs> and a Swiss spear. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, we need a land. That's that's good as a land. Uh We're gonna blood braid. We blood braid, right? Yeah, we blood braid. I mean we hit a bolt. Okay, we'll cast a tracker. Who is this dude? What's up, ED Games? Looks like that's Emerald Dragon Games. Hey, that's our sponsor guy. If you want to look somewhere around here, I can't point in the right directions. There it is. Right there. Emerald Dragon Games. Steamkin. Ugh. No attacky. Thanks for coming out and joining as we are trying to rain some salt, but we cannot draw a fourth land to save our life. I just want to rain the salt in. We drew a fourth land. All right. So. Land. Tireless tracker. So Chandra sh shoot the steamkin. Because that'll keep him off of mana. Uh, minus three, shoot you. And we're just going in. So next turn, we can Blood Braid Elf. Be awesome if we go like land, Blood Braid Elf. He goes Manamorphose, sure. Jackass. Yo, ED Game Zero, thanks for the follow, my dude. That's right, we picking up followers left and right today. Light up the stage for all the manas. Helps if I open up the right one. Lava Dart does nothing this turn. Oh, you don't think I won't block that Swiss Sphere? Where are you going, Chandra? Do we block the Swift Spear? No, we do not. Sure, you can kill Chandra. I got four men and a Blood Braid Elf. Have fun. What am I doing? Draw a land. Or we just draw another Chandra and kill Swift Spear and hit for six. He can Lava Dart something next turn. Seems good. Well, now wait a second. That's three, six, nine, ten, eleven. If we hit a bolt off the blood braid, it's Emerald's brother. Okay, Emerald brother. Whatever. ED Games is all I see. But all right. So here, here's the here's the question. 
we can hope to luck into our one of lightning bolt that is left in our deck off this blood braid elf and punching for uh nine but if we hit the lightning bolt we hit him for the full 12 game over what do y'all say it's up to y'all we got the four mana we have eight minutes on the clock got plenty of time but what do you guys think i don't know ed games way to go Yep, snap off BB. That's the vote we got. Boom, lightning bolt. Not a lightning bolt. Anger of the gods. We are not casting anger of the gods. New. <coughs> huh. All right, he's down to three. We'll see what he has. I mean, he has to kill me this turn. I guess he can go bolt, bolt, bolt. That's only 12. 13 damage, four bolts with three cards. He got a lava spot, lava dart. Okay, so he's taking out the tracker with the lava dart. Well, he's putting a damage on tracker, I guess. It's not going to face, and that's the important thing. Bedlam Reveler. Well, Chandra takes care of that. He can flashback the dart. Targeting tracker, sure. Question is... Well, we got him anyway, right? Yeah, we do. Well, we got him big time. We'll just do this. There you go. Bolt. Bolt you. Bolt you. <laughs> We're just going to bolt you. You're dead. Okay. 3 and 0, oh, my friends. 3 and 0. Oh. I would use the old, the kids are eating tonight, but I do not have kids. Nor would they be eating anyway because I am broke magic player that just found out he has a $60,000 in student loans so hey <laughs> but I have a bachelor's I got a bachelor's so <coughs> yeah do not cast that Corson you are correct we are not casting this anger of the gods we are hitting him in the face for nine <laughs> Nivis, what's up, brother? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the revolution. If you haven't already, hit that follow button. We do this every uh, every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. That's going to be our official stream times. Uh, Wednesday's going to be a little bit more. The reason there's a day in between is I'll get some practice with the actual deck I'm going to play on Wednesday. Monday Night Mayhem, it's literally just that. I pick up a deck, we go and play, I ask y'all a bunch of questions in chat because half the time I don't know what the hell I'm doing in the first place. So, uh, full disclosure, I have played Ponza in the past, but this is a completely different version of Ponza, so it is what it is. Uh, I have most of this deck built in paper. I'll be finishing it off next week because I just like blowing up lands and blood mooning people because it's a great card. That is fair and balanced magic. Edie Games, thanks for the follow and the subscribe with the tier one subscribe. Welcome to the revolution. But yeah, so uh, Wednesday, I was thinking either legacy, because uh, there's a legacy like. Uh, local legacy tournament on Saturday and I may borrow a deck for it. Uh, if our Argrelf lives, this Obstinate Bailoff and Karn seems pretty good, but we got a 
Yeah, we're gonna keep. Screw it. We don't know what we're playing. In the blind. And we are back against Mono Red again. So let's see if our Arbor Elf can eat a bolt. Yeah. Hey, we got the logo. Uh oh. Why are things frozen on my screen? Hey, is the stream frozen to y'all? Am I crazy? Yeah. What he is, what it is, is Xwell knew that we were on pods, and he's like, "I ain't playing against that bullshit today." <laughs> yeah, it's like frozen on mine. I'm gonna restart Twitch on my end, so I, I'm not restarting the stream, restarting Twitch. Exit. Guess I have to go over to here. Where in the world is this happening? Soul Scar Mage number two. What the hell? Cancel. Cancel. I don't know what's happening, man. Life is all screwed up. Oh. There we go. We're working again. Alright. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. Uh, Stone Rain, their only land? That seems like a thing to do. Oh, yeah, man. I'll definitely send you the links. Pay two. Oh, yes. There you go. Yeah, I uh, I actually uh, tagged y'all in the Facebook post. Yeah, you get in for two. But we got an obstinate Bailoff coming down next turn. Thank you, Xwell. Uh, we're not going to shock ourselves again. think here we got these red lands let's just get a forest Four. bail off yeah i do thank y'all for everything you do man and mike i thank you for uh you know the store uh jora all right all right, going to the next round. We just do it the same way. Do we even bring in the angers? I can see the life goes on. It gains us four or eight life. I can understand that, but do we bring in the angers? Oh, nice, nice. But yeah, for anybody that don't know, while uh, go to Emerald Dragon Games, you can actually go onto my Twitch page, click on the sponsored link, and it'll take you straight to their website. Mike's a good dude. Uh, keeps magic alive here in Jacksonville, Florida, in this northeast portion of Florida. Uh, him with a lot of other magic stores, but he's a local LGS that's, uh, you know, private owned. His whole family works there. They got a great deli that you can go and eat. They do. Uh, modern on Fridays uh, and they got the whole event schedule up on its website I know they do modern on Fridays I uh, believe what do y'all do on Tuesday EEN anger just sounds good ah uh, and never is I'm trying to 5 them. and soon waffles EEN anger sounds good We'll just trim like a carn. 
into four blood moons and bring in the relic yeah modern on Tuesday Saturday is pioneer uh, Friday nights is modern also uh, bring in worm coil from William Corson seems good I don't think I want the relic all right we'll go here uh, so go check them out go check them out you can check out their entire schedule if you're here in Jacksonville southern Georgia uh, you know drive all the way across town and if anybody's ever been to Jacksonville you'll know that it's like nine million miles miles to get across town all okay. right yeah we can keep this we got a bolt for their early creature uh, turn three stone rain anger to wipe up other creatures so we'll keep this I'm okay with this wooded foothills grabbing a mountain bolt the mage I'm okay uh, pay for this mountain. bolt the mage all right so we slowed them down some Yeah, so man, Amorphos card needs to be banned. All right, Anivis, Anivis, I cannot pronounce that name ever. Uh, but hey, we're gonna do our best to five of them, and man, don't think I won't stone rain you out this game, bro. I'm not playing. Uh, yeah, we'll windswept. Get a stomping ground at the end of their turn, so we have this anger up. Boom, Crusher Giant. Well, this anger looks a lot better now. So we'll probably just anger this turn and then we can bail off next turn seems good I mean if he's cast and hard cast into bone crusher giant then I don't think he had anything of relevance like crash through cycles probably waiting to burn me at the end of his turn so get a basic forest we'll just bail off him gain four life go back to 15 and if he wants to spend two burn spells killing my bail off I'm okay with that too Bolting my face. Seems good. Lava darting my face. Also seems good. So he's at two cards. Bedlam Reveler. That's not fun. Okay. Now he's at three cards. Soul Scar Mage. A Lava Dart. Light up the stage. Okay. Those are gone. Swiss Spear, Crash Through. So, 
next turn we can EE on one, take care of the Soul Scar Mage. If we draw a land, which we did, we can EE on one. That takes care of Soul Scar. Chandra takes care of Bedlam Reveler. Right? Yeah. Because he's tapped out. So we just Chandra here. Take care of Bedlam Reveler. E on one. That takes care of that. We'll leave this back to block. We'll sacrifice it. I mean, he has one card. He has a Swiss Spear and a cra ca Crash Shrew he can cast next turn. So, and if he does, this E on one to just eat it up, you know, the following turn. So, that seems pretty good. And then, we can always pitch this Stone Rain to, uh, to Pyromancer. I mean, yeah, you got a Swiss Spear, then you can crash through. Some Prowess triggers, draw your card, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. I mean, if he wants to give up on either one of these creatures, he might as well. Oh, he gets a land. I mean, he's going to give up on one of the creatures. So, since they're both going at Chandra, I'm going to just let it go through. Chandra's going to die anyway. There's no sense in putting my bail off into bolt range and this turn we can spend the two mana crack the e wipe away this board and then we have pyromancer get that out of here then we'll go to or we don't even have to pyromancer this turn we can just ca cast this bone crusher that's probably what we'll do. Cast said Bone Crusher. Just hard cast it. Opponent draws a card. But now we got a two turn clock on him. First Lightning. Light up the stage. Hits a Swiss Fear and a Bolt. Good God Almighty, these damn Bedlam Revelers. Pillage, Stone Rain does nothing. So we Pyromancer here. We hit a pillage. Attack, attack. He goes to five. We have plenty of blockers. He can bolt us to three. I mean, if he adds it, he has it. That's all I can say. You can Swiss Fear Bolt that I know of. Uh, stinking Bedlam Revelers, bro. He can block two things. He's trying to cycle for a Bolt or something. Or multiple burn spells to get through. Swiss Fear Bolt. So it depends on where this burst lightning. Okay, it's going to Pyromancer. So I feel with it going to Pyromancer. I mean, we're going to block, block. So he's holding up blockers for these things. Lava Dart at Arbor Elf. He can flashback Lava Dart if he has a land. And we can always re or exile this Pyromancer. That's what I was thinking. Only have to block one creature. Only have one creature we can block with. 
But if he attacks out now, don't he just die? No, he don't. Alright. I mean, we know we're blocking this Bedlam Reveler, taking four. But if we hit a Blood Braid Elf, so he probably might not attack. Okay, he is. Alright. Well, we're definitely blocking the big guy. I know, dude had like a million lava darts, bro. I mean, I don't know what to say. Spirit Guide. So, where's our graveyard? So, we're going to bring back Season Pyromancer. Oh, man. See, if we attack, we die. He did this. I mean, if he has, like... Does he have any more lava darts in the grave? So, this would have to be a burn spell. Oh, we're basting for eight. We're definitely doing that. Alright, here we go, boys. We'll get this Bedlam Reveler off the field. And then we'll flashback the Pyromancer in response. Alright, he's at one. We needed a bolt. Don't got it. Yeah, if they hit it, they hit it. So we'll flashback the... Uh... Here we go. We do that now, right? Or we wait for him to declare attacks. Alright. Pyromancer. I mean, if they got it, they got it. Two mana. Stop. Targeting one. Okay. And then he can recast. No, he can't. He don't have the mana. Block you. Alright. Oh, he does have the mana. Ugh. Alright, bolt off the top. That is not a bolt. Alright, so we can cast Monkey and hope we don't die. Alright. Yep, that's our hope. He's ripping better than we can. No, we can't. We gotta block two things. So. Alright. Here we go, boys. Yeah, you're right. He has to block. Uh, we're just gonna draw a lightning bolt off the top. Or Blood Braid Elf. Or Chandra. Or an Obsident Bayloth. Sure. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Do we attack with our Bayloth? We can't, right? Attack for four? Okay. We're in. You gotta block. Goodbye, Bone Crusher. No! Stop! That light up the stage hurt. God, his rips have been so great. There's a bolt. And a 
a bedlam reveler. Good God Almighty. You can't cast nothing else this turn. Hey, you can cast something else this turn. Dude, this dude has hit three Bedlam Revelers. Do I sack? I mean, if he's only going to attack with Bedlam Reveler, I'm just going to chump it. Okay, he didn't. So, do we go ahead and fetch? Yeah, he can't cast a bolt. Uh, this is gone. Do we go ahead and fetch? No? No. Okay. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Should have fetched. Got that force out of the way. Could draw a tracker. You're right. Screw it. This pillage ain't doing nothing. It's chilling. We'll keep him off of drawing a card. Alright. Okay. Yep. We can't attack, right? No, we can't because we die on the crackback. Well, that's three. Probably blocks with the Reveler. We can block this. That's three, four, two spells. One spell kills us. We did. We ain't dead yet. We're going to rip a bolt next turn and we're going to be gravy. No, he don't have a ball. We're going to get there. <coughs> well, now he has a ball. That's going to face. And that's game. Okay. Game three. Almost want to tutor for Warm Coil. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Never drink body armor. Well, drink body armor. It's relatively pretty sure it's healthy for you. But when you've taken cold medicine and drinking body armor, man, you gotta pee. Yes, I would like to play first. Well, we got our life goes on. We have no lands. This is a mulligan. Alright, well. This is basically the same plan as last time. So. We will put. What, just the stone rain? Pitch heath, yeah. Yeah, we got time to tutor for Worm. We got this time. Don't you worry about it. We just gotta find the Worm. Oh, no lander? Oh, I was about to say. Crash through. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But still, since we ain't doing nothing relative next turn, see, we're gonna get there. <coughs> Man of Morpho should be banned. That's ridiculous. Pitch. 
personal opinion. I mean, I ain't casting Tracker next turn. I may cast a Stone Rain next turn. Lava Dart? Sure. You got me. I like green cards. Just not Manamorphos. Because I don't know one. So, we'll just stop rain. So next turn, Tracker plus Windswept Teeth. He plays the Mountain, plays the Soul Scar from the Exile. Yeah. killing this thing. We got two bolts. If he wants to bolt my tracker, I'm okay with that. Because I got this car coming. Manamorphos is a green card. But I don't play Manamorphos, so I don't like the damn thing. And I got a lightning bolt. I can kill this too. Uh we'll take two damage and we'll kill this stupid thing. Then we'll tick up the Karn onto nothing. What's he gonna do? Uh, I guess he could double bolt my Karn. I hate you, Will. I hate you. Well, he used a lot of resources. Look, man, I gotta justify it some way. <laughs> because <laughs> you didn't prevent it quick enough. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll be okay. Look, man, I'm flipping tired, okay? Leave me alone. We got this engineered. We're gonna get there, so he's just gonna battle him Reveler for half a million. And he gets a Swiss Sphere. We'll crack. God bless. The lands is real. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we got all the lands. Yeah, we popping the E. Don't worry. I know, I get it.
Inferno time. Okay. We're not going to screw this up this time. Karn. Minus two. Yes. Worm coil. Let's go. I got the worm. <laughs> he's stomping me. Oh, he's stomping Pyromancer. All right, well, do your worst. It's all you, bro. All right, well, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good too. Well. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven. If he adds one more spell. Lava darts in the side. Mm. What do we got for one man? Going to be close. He says he doesn't have it. I think we're going to get this Torvald script and make sure he can't Bedlam Reveler us again. Yes. Probably, yeah. If you got it, you got it. If you got it, you got it. He don't have it. All right. Do we crash in with our 6-6? Six, six? <laughs> Go to 7. What do we draw? What do we draw? That doesn't help us any. Uh... Plus, I die if I don't. Three, yeah, you're right. I die either way. I die. Okay. All right. He got to miss again. Okay. That's a that's a miss. That's a miss. All right. Yeah, I can block. You're right. Oh, come on with the Simeon Spirit Guide uh, view sideboard. I mean, we can try to get a redraw. Okay, Tony, attack. Okay, we're attacking. Attack. Go, Wormy Boy. I mean, we've, we've faded. Yeah, play Monkey and Bridge. Yeah. We minus two. Karn. Yes. We get bridge. Play bridge. Play monkey. Cast. All right. Now he has to draw spell burn spells. He gets a redraw. Okay. 
Yeah, we gotta fade the abraid hard. Well, you still don't have it. We need to fade drawing lands. Do I have one? Do. Okay. We'll do that at the end of the turn. That's what happens when I don't keep my graveyard up. Yep. Let's see bolts made. Look at here, boys. The dream. The dream is happening. What is happening here? No! Stop! I'm doing it! <laughs> We're getting there! I don't know what's happening! He's drawing a bunch of cards. We need more Bailoffs! He's digging deep. He's looking for three bolts that he don't have. I don't know what's happening here. I, I'm F6. I can't waste time. So if he hits bolts, he, he just hits them. Bolting my face. Go to five. Light up the stage. Yeah, it's light up the stage. Manamorphos draws you another card. La 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 la. Gonna be a close one. Dude, he casts so many spells this turn. so many spells come on you gotta fizzle at some point bro you only got 18 cards left in your library it's like you gotta fizzle he fizzled all right we draw wooded foothills and we'll play it all right chandra What'd you get us? Another Bayloth? Nope. Burn spell. Okay. Well, we're fading again. He has two cards in hand. Three cards. A redraw. Yeah, we F6, bro. We are F6. I believe. Alright. Oh, we drew another Bayloth. We exile. Uh, no, we're not casting Arbor Elf. Alright. Now we need spells. Chandra ultimate plus two spells. That's all we need. Alright. Alright. 
He bolts Chandra. Oh, he knows. <coughs> Good God, another Bedlam Reveler? He might deck himself. If I draw Karn or BBE, that'd be great. Yeah, hit it Karn or BBE off Chandra. <laughs> Burst lightning on Chandra. All right, well, Chandra's dead. Spirit Guide. On the battlefield. I mean, he only has ten cards. We need a card. Hey man, we're we're putting up the fight here, bro. Like seriously, going hard to the paint, putting up this fight. <laughs> we were down to one life at one point. One, Uno, Heinz, fine. I don't even know. Whatever language you want to say, one in. That's where we were at. <laughs> Brandon Harry mentioned you in. Oh, nice. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh. Boone is dying. Dude, I'm F6, bro. Oh, no. Is he doing the salt tank? Come on. Okay, good. I guess he's trying to see if he can kill us with 10 cards. Lava Dart begins this. We got 28 cards. Another Bedlam Reveler takes him to seven cards. I think he was looking at his list to see if he had enough burn spells left to kill me. Yeah, I didn't think he was either. I'm just saying. I think, honestly, what he was doing was making sure... That he looked at his list and he had enough burn spells to uh to kill me. Or he had an abrade. I don't know what's going on. Burst lightning for four? Good grief. I mean, did he bring in every single burn spell on the planet? Okay. An Inferno Titan would be nice. He's down to six. Five cards. Stop. Okay, Crash Rude takes him down to four. We're F6, so we're not burning time. What the hell? I thought we were F6, but I guess not. Alright. It's down to four cards. Pillage. Alright, well, we'll cast a pillage. Whatever. Yeah, I'm looking at his exile. Here's his graveyard. Here's his, his whole deal.
I mean, if we can hit a car and we just microsynth lattice him out of the game. This might do it. We hit the third Bayloft. All right. <laughs> he has one card to beat us. <laughs> we did it, boys! We did it! <laughs> okay. <sighs> we did it. All right. <laughs> Only gate has. <laughs> All right. I know we're 4 0 uh, going into round five, but if I do not take a quick bio break. I might literally like explode. So give me about 60 seconds, maybe 75 seconds, but just give me a second. No, bro, I ain't got a choice. Look here, man. You don't understand. Nah, I can't. Can't do it.
And apparently I have been talking with my mic muted because I'm an idiot. So. <laughs> Alright, here we go, boys. Uh, turn one ramp. But it's bad ramp. Yeah, I agree. Let's see what we got. We're playing first, apparently. Arbor Elf and Gyu. See if we play Mono Red Prowess for the third time in a row. No, we're going to play some Oko stuff, I guess. Who knows? Snow Covered Force. So, isn't this the, uh, yeah. Bant Snow. Pillage. We're going, well, we can't cast a pillage, but. Oh, uh, yeah. Attack. So, this is, uh, what is that? Where's the snow thing, whatever it's called? I don't know. I ain't played modern in half a millennia. Paradoxical outcome or were of invention. I don't know what it's called. Where they bounce all their damn artifacts back to their hand and replay it. And use Emery. Ren and Six. Okay, maybe John. More Ren and Six for you, then. Oh, sweet, bro. Alright. Well, y'all heard it. Emerald Dragon Games, we got a gift for the viewers, so we'll do a, uh, a, uh, giveaway. Oh, we didn't draw another land. Alright. So... All giveaways thanks to Emerald Dragon Games. Uh, so we'll see what's going on. I will, Mike, I'll be there, or Jor, I'll be there Friday for FNM if I can get my deck put together. This is spicy. As we're sitting here with, you know, two cards in hand. Well, Arbor Elf number half a billion. <laughs> the curse of the bladder is going to cause us from 5 Owen. Five color. Oh, it could be five color Niv. red all right well he's keeping us off mana that's for sure okay. oh for fuck's sake well that it's gonna get it demonetized on YouTube. I don't care. Just want to draw another land. <coughs> See what he does with this serum vision. Puts two cards on top, so he liked them both gonna get blown out by this royal scions tarmer boy yeah hey 
did. We drew a land and can't do nothing. Gonna get beat up by a Tarmogoy. Awesome. No, without a Tarmogoy for like a turn. <sighs> five color scred. That's what we're gonna play in our last game for the five O. It's five color scred. We got a pillage. Can't even cast a pillage. All right, we're scooping. Good grief! All right, so against five color scred. Four color spread, whatever you want to call it. Something like this. No, I think wishing to crypt. I think just some ancient tombs, engineered explosive. <coughs> I mean, choke is meh. They had a steam vents and that was it. All right, yeah, we'll try it. We need to take something out though. We're just gonna try it with 63 cards because you know, we had problems drawing lands last game. Well, we gotta turn two pillage. what happens I get tired I'm mulligan I'm doing what I want now all right we're gonna keep this uh, bolt Done. sorry guys his last game is like <laughs> poop tastic But we're going to try. We're going to give it our best shot. You never know. We may get there. We can do this, boys. We can do this. A half eighth. Not really, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we got an engineered explosives. Okay. Crusher shoot you in the face. back to three lands so who knows slam a bail off next turn we have eight damage on the battlefield up to 11 viewers sure you take two Better than four, I guess. Mountain. Oh, that's a mountain. Alright. We got some kind of hope here. 
Right up until this mana leak. No. Mana leak. Get out of here. Loser. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear me say that. <laughs> Never mind the grumpy old man behind the mic. Oko. Oko say no go. Oko no pharaoh. Oh no. Alright. Sorry. So Oko can't do nothing to Chandra. And then we got a bolt when he makes the food into a dude. Yeah. And we could also just E on zero, but one, two, three, four. So if he makes a food into a dude, we can bolt it. No. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Going for this 5-0. We're relying on bolting a food token because he's stuck on mana he's been on three mana forever so and then we can e for zero because we can't e for three man come on get out of here well you got to land Okay, he's just creating a food. So we will bolt the tracker. Yeah. You get a couple clues. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is play E on zero next turn. And probably just pop it and wipe out all of his clues plus his uh Two food tokens. That way, because he's going to be tapped out. Well, no. He'll be able to do something with them this turn, I guess. Oh, no. This is his turn. Yeah. Alright. So... Then we can just crack the EE. -E. Then if we even hit something good that's four mana, like this Karn. I don't think he can kill the Karn this turn. And we can't... So... So we can get, we can cast liquid metal coating next turn, or my consent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. So he has to have a counter for my consent lattice. Brennan six, sure. Create a food, sure. So the question is, in his two cards, does he have another mana leak? That is the question. Or a cryptic command. Or any other three mana thing. So, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do Arbor Elf plus Mycosynth Lattice. I mean, we just jam it, right? Just jam it and say, do you got it? I mean, he's representing counters. He knows we have it. I say we jam it. We jam it. We're jamming it. Lattice. Oh, he has it. What a bastard. Fucking card. Counterspell, bitches. Huh. Alright, so we can play the elf. So now what do we do? We can't get Lattice. Is it exiled? Oh, it is exiled. Okay. Yep. Forgot Force of Negation exiles. Alright. We'll make him have it again. And he has to deal with this Chandra somehow, so... Oh, but he can ping my Arbor Elf, make the food of creature, and then attack Karn. But if he does that, we just alt Chandra and start casting spells and burning him to the face. So... <coughs> now we can alt Chandra. Good God. Guess he, I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right, we got it. Hey, Corset, 5 -0 still alive again. We just run it back. I mean, we can go for the hard lockout with the ensnaring bridge. Uh, let's not go with 63 cards, though. Let's do that. <coughs> hey, look. We just won with 63 cards because I didn't even board out things. Alright. Here we go, boys. One more time. For the 5 old dream. I believe in me too, Will. I believe in the power of teamwork. Teamwork make the dream work. Alright. This is a sh ship. Well. Arbor Elf in the Stone Rain. Alright. Yeah, turn one stone rain. I'd say we pitch the elf. Pitch a guide? Yeah. Seems good. Prismatic Vista. Well, I mean, our turn one rain wouldn't have worked. Uh, that sucked. 
Why can't we draw our Utopia Sprawls? See, Ren and Six is my dude. Or he Lightning Bolts, my dude. Ren and six. Oh, Tarmogoyf. That's already a 3 4. Oof. Oof. We about to throw God out the block. Turn two, Tarmogoyf. That's a 3 4. Are you kidding me right now? We can't even. Man, we're stone raining. Screw it. Make that a big ass goalie. There you go. Hit me for four, buddy. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna have to pull something out of our freaking tutors. Oh, well, that's a start. We ain't gotta kill ourselves. So we go to 10. got the nuts you got the nuts what can I say we go to nine <coughs> you took PS bro the dream is ending boys it's almost over we got very very fragile hook going on here. Dude, if you got a mana leak. It's not looking good for this 5-0 dream. We'll at least get to open, what, one chest or whatever. He gets a mana leak. Yep. Nope. All right, well, we take five, we go to three, and I mean, we did the right thing. We took out the land that would have been problematic, but. Another Tarmogoyf? Sure. Uh, nope. I mean, we're dying to Tarmogoyf, so... Now we draw double Blood Braid. Alright. GG, bud. Ah. <sighs> Take five, we lose the game. All right, open up our five chests. We got two, some odd, whatever. Oh, championship qualifier points 120 points, four and over. We're going to open up these five chests here live on stream, and then we're going to be calling tonight. But I want to thank everyone for coming out. So let's see what we get in our chesticles. Uh. All right, chest number one. Got a time walk. Animatu. 
chest number two. Iron Crag Pyromancer. Five play points and repeated reverberation. What we call the boo boo chest. As in, a baby just took a boo boo in, in the chest. We got an Avacyn Guardian Angel. Azusa Lost But Seeking. That's eh, not too bad. Uh, Possessed Portal. Some more boo boo. In our final chest of tonight. Five play points, collected defiance, and a dousing daggers. So I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Uh, all the new subs. You guys are great. Anivius, ED, ED Games, and Hey That Tickles. Thank you all for following and subscribing tonight. Remember, go and check out Emerald Dragon Games at emeralddragongames.com. Uh, tonight's sponsor of the stream. Really great guys. Check them out. Good pricing. Uh, they'll treat you fairly. Uh, runs good tournaments on three to four nights a week. So go and check them out. And for everybody else, thank you. It's been fun. I really enjoy streaming when people are interacting in the chat. Obviously, I know that's kind of like a mundane thing to say. But it is uh, It's a lot more fun to be able to interact with you guys. Be able to talk throughout, you know, through the different plays. You know, I don't see. I'll be the first to admit. I don't see every line. And I make a bunch of boneheaded plays, which is half the fun, by the way. But I do want to thank you all for coming out. This was Mono... Or Mono. This was Red Green Control in Modern for Monday Night Mayhem. And we will see you all on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Peace, love, and chicken grease. We're out.